Hey everyone, welcome to part two of JavaScript basics. Let's take a look at text editors, which we can use to actually write our JavaScript code. JavaScript code can be written normally in a normal text editor as well. You don't need sophisticated softwares, softwares called integrated development environments, IDEs for that. You don't need to download those gigabytes of softwares. Don't worry about that. Just a normal text editor would work really fine. And nowadays, we have very well, very well documented and basically very well coded with awesome UIs text editors available at our fingertips. So the top three text editors I recommend are VS Code, Sublime Text and Notepad++. I started off my journey with Notepad++, but remember at that time there was no VS Code. Had there been a VS Code, I would have most probably started with it. Then I moved to Sublime Text, which still remains one of my favorite text editors, but VS Code is the game changer. So I'm using VS Code literally for almost everything now. I occasionally use Sublime Text to and fro sometimes, but uh, we're gonna continue the series in VS Code. So if you want to stick along with uh, me, I would preferably recommend you to go with VS Code, otherwise you might have like Google some, some stuff on um, by yourself if you're not able to figure it out. Other than that, any text editor is fine. Whatever you use is, uh, is completely fine. Even Notepad is also fine, but obviously I don't recommend that. So I guess, yeah, that's basic intro to text editors you have on the internet and that's all for this one. And uh, I'll see you then in the next video.